bulimia is what we're going to discuss in this video. And bulimia is a unfortunate uh, disorder that affects um, female greater than male. It's like a 90 to 10 distribution in terms of percentage. Although, uh, in terms of males, commonly um, you'll see this on test questions. It can uh, occur in wrestlers because wrestlers have to uh, maintain their weight in order to compete in a certain weight category. So let's get started. Bulimia basically has two components to it. The first component is binge eating, where essentially what that means is that you're consuming a large amount of food, kind of like a holiday meal type of uh, uh, amount. And then what you do is you have this compensation that um, is inappropriate. And in particular, what we're talking about is purging. So you will see this often as binge purge behavior. And purging is really what it, that means is vomiting. So you're vomiting out the food, self-induced. So self-induced vomiting. And this is, of course, done in an attempt to not uh, digest the food that you ate um, so that you don't gain weight. Now, the unfortunate part of this is that it causes many signs and symptoms. Uh, one of the things, uh, and these are very, very characteristic, and that's a good news uh, on clinical vignettes, is that these stand out. Um, one of the things is that you can develop these scars on the knuckles of, of the hand, and that's just because of constantly putting fingers down your throat to make yourself vomit. Another thing that can happen is that the teeth can become rotten. You can have dental erosion, dental caries, because of the constant vomiting. And then another thing is that the parotid glands can become swollen, and that can be seen on physical exam. The diagnosis of this is, of course, based entirely on history. But there are a, there's some key lab values that are uh, very, very common. And that is when you vomit, you vomit out potassium and you vomit out protons. So you would have a scenario in the blood that essentially is hypokalemia. And because you vomited out all these protons, you'll be in a state of alkalosis. And of course, we're talking about metabolic very key lab findings. And then the treatment of this involves therapy and the, the medication most commonly used and also on licensing exams is an SSRI. It's a depression medicine, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and the name of that medication is fluoxetine. So let's like, take a look at some clinical vignettes. An 18 year old girl comes to the physician for a checkup before going off to college. She has no complaints. She states that she is very excited to be finally on her own. She exercises regularly, gets good grades, sexually active. Weight is normal for her height. Physical exam shows many dental caries, periodontal disease, pharyngeal abrasions, nail changes, and multiple linear lacerations on forearm are in various stages of healing. Lab studies show hypokalemia, and metabolic alkalosis, which of the following would most likely establish diagnosis. Well, it's nice when a clinical vignette kind of spells it all out for you. Without a doubt, she's had a, this is bulimia. Well, let's go through this. Do you ever feel guilty about drinking alcohol? Well, that not really probably the best question to ask. Do you typically restrict your diet to under 800 calories a day? Now, that is a good one. Have you ever taken laxatives as a way to lose weight? That's another good question. Have you ever consumed large quantities of food and then regurgitated to prevent weight gain? That's probably your, the best question to uh, establish diagnosis because this is the binge, large quantities of food, and then the regurgitation is the purge. So binging and purging is the two components of bulimia. That's the question that would be most appropriate. And finally, a 25-year-old woman with a several-year history of binging and purging presents to a psychiatrist complaining of lack of energy, poor sleep, and decreased ability to concentrate. She is very concerned about weight gain. Which of the following medications would be most appropriate to initiate? Well, she's clearly um, bulimic, 
And uh, if you remember, the type of medications, um, the class of medications, is an SSRI selective, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, and the one that you use is fluoxetine, and that would be choice B.